hit hard down the right field line. But a foul ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Coming to the plate now, Nicky Lopez. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. I got to count one and two. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Next will be Jose Osuna as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Jose Osuna. First pitch of the at bat. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Gordon is there. One down. Stepping up now, Jacob Stallings. The catcher. Jacob Stallings. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he takes ball one. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Now the pitch. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. So a full count now. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. As a look, now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Runners on first with one down. Out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, Brand. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Newman. And he. He could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He's set. Here it comes. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Now the 1-0. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. 
Merrifield calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brian Reynolds. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Curveball just misses apparently. 1-0. And the fastball sails on him, and that's to the backstop. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two men are on with two men out. Three and oh now. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. Now with the plate, Trey Mancini, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. This one's flared out toward left. Lopez onto the grass, and the run will score as the Pirates are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Up next for Pittsburgh, the first baseman, Josh Bell. Josh Bell, the next to hit. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Bases are loaded here, two down. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. One and two. Here it is. Two, two, yeah. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. He set the 2 2. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Now batting Salvador Perez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The catcher, Salvador. The pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Here's the 0-1. Nope. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. 1-1. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. Now the 2-1. Swung on and belted to left by Perez. This one's deep. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The 2-2. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And the payoff pitch. A bouncer up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field.
Mike Knott, the second baseman, D. Here's D. Gordon now. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Nobody out, runner on first. On its tailor made to short, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Now Digging in to try it again, Adalberto Mondesi. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Swung on and missed. One and one. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hit out towards second. Newman's got it. And he's safe. Now batter, center fielder, with Merrifield. Whit Merrifield next to hit. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Ooh, and he finds his spot there, one and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Polanco is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope as we begin the top of the fourth. The third baseman, number eight, Jonathan Scope. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. On one. Come set and the 0-1. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning. We'll start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Gregory Polanco. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on but fouled off to the left. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Soler is there. And that's the second out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Jose Osuna. Jose. First pitch coming, here it is. Off the plate, ball one. Now the 1 0 is chased out of the zone for strike one. Whoa, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. A ball 
ball and two strikes now. One run, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. In now, Ryan O'Hearn looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch out. Belted high and deep into right center. Reynolds is on the move for it. At the track, the wall. This one clears the party porch just shy of the fountains. They don't hit him out there. That's a long home run. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. In is Jorge Soler. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. Looking up is the left fielder. To the track, to the wall. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. The left field, number four, Alex. At the plate now, oh, yeah. Alex Gordon. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the pitch. Count is one and two now. Two runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Hit to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Hard ground ball to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. No batter, number one. Good stop. Nicky. Lopez. Into the box now, Nicky Lopez. As he would look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Runner at first here, one man out. Again, another foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Three and two now. And the payoff pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. He's set and the pitch. A runner on first with two away. Rolled slowly to first. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The catcher, Jacob Stallings. 
first pitch of the at bat. Ball one. The 1 0 home. Yeah. Smoke toward the hole and a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Now that football on yell. To the plate now, on yell Cruz. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Little chopper back to the mound. To second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Ready once again, Kevin Newman 0 for 2 for him to this point. Kevin Newman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a drive out to left center field. And the tying run is in to score all the way from first. The center fielder, number 10, Brian Leno. Stepping in now, Brian Reynolds. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. One and one the count. From the belt, the pitch. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. The 2-2. Two -two. Just hung in there on that one. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Gets him looking up around the letters. Digging in and looking for more. Trey Mancini is working on a one for two game so far. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, and just a miserable effort there. It's 0 and 1. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Hey, I thought he was going to work around him right here in this situation. But after getting two swinging strikes, there's a change of game plan. I guarantee he's going right after him. 0 and 2, here it is. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. 1 and 2. Here's the one and two. Skied into straightaway right. After it is Solaire. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go ahead run is left stranded. And here's the speedster D. Gordon as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Here comes the first pitch. 
hit on the ground to third. A dive, and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield now single. Number 27. At the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Now a throw over to first, and he's back standing. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he misses there, one and two. Great arm action on that two strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Well that's back to back off speed pitches and he wasn't biting on either. Now let's see if he goes back to the hard stuff or gives the softer stuff yeah, yeah, another yeah. shot. Runners on the move for second. Hit down the third baseline. Taken in by Scope. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other one away. Now back. So striding That's forward now Whit Merrifield. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One out and a runner on second base. Two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even two and two. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Popped up. Bell camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Ready for another right. chance? Ryan O'Hearn. He went deep last time up. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Sinker oh. runs outside to start the at bat, 1 0. Oh. Two out here and a runner at second. Just a tick behind for a strike. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. Popped him up. Scope is there for it. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Riding in, Josh Bell. He'll lead things Josh off here in the Pirates half of the sixth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Now back the third base. Jonathan. Good. 
Here's Jonathan Scope now. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The 0 2 delivery. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Digging in, Gregory Polanco. No hits to this point. Polanco. From the stretch. Nope. Okay. Now the 1 0 he is swung on and missed, strike one. Now we'll just stare him down out there as he steps off and bluffs him back to first. This is popped up. Mundesi waits on it. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Digging in, Jose Osuna. He flew okay. out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most okay. recently. Okay. From the stretch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. This one's in the dirt. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jorge Soler. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And there's ball one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Hit well on the ground to first. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So one away now for Alex Gordon. Alex Gordon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a ball softly hit and fouled off to the left. Strike one. The wind up and the 0-1. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But so that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Here's the pitch. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. And this is swung on and missed, and Gordon becomes out number two now. Okay. Stepping okay. into the box, Hunter Dozier. One for two on his line Hunter. so far in the game. Dozier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball just misses, apparently. 1 0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Yeah. 
Ball down two. low, two balls and a strike. I got two on the count. And the two one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Reynolds is on the move for it. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Next for the Buckos, Jacob Stallings. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Scott Barlow is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 58, Scott Barlow. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Outside, that's the ball. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Outside, 3-0 and oh now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. 3-1. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now to the plate, O'Neill Cruz reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. And they don't need anything special from him right here. They need to find a way to just move that runner up 90 feet. Don't be shocked if the sack bunk gets laid down. One and oh, the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Popped him up. Perez is there. He's got it one away. Stepping in, Kevin Newman. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. Oh, that's a tough call that's for Blue good. right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. Now the 1 0. Down the left field line and deep. And they can't run it down. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The ball in two strikes. What is it? Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Merrifield comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Digging in the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He 
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High in the air out to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. At the plate, Nicky Lopez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Not shortstop, Nicky Lopez. Now here it comes. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Cruz will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Here's the catcher Salvador Perez. One for two. He singled and grounded out so far. He's set. Here it comes. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 and 0. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1 and 1. Faces are empty. One man out. Hit hard down the line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So stepping in, D. Gordon, a now hit in two tries so far. D. Gordon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is on the ground over to first. Bell picks it up and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So here's Trey Mancini. Leading off for Pittsburgh, the designated hitter, Trey Mancini. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor. 1-0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Digging in once again, Josh Bell. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting a front foot down. No one's getting a barrel to the baseball. The count now at two and two. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. 
And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So two down here in the Pittsburgh eight. And that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. Here's the first pitch to him. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. No contact there and it's one and two. Boy he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order too. Ready with the one two. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a two out single. The batter, the right fielder, Gregory Polanco. Here's Gregory Polanco. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 0 and 1. Ball, that's Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. A ball and two strikes now. Here's the one two check the swing there and did he go no he did not says the third base umpire ball two two and two here it is nearly got the inside but ruled the ball. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. So the Royals' batting order turns over and set to go. Adalberto Mondesi, he'll start things out here in a tie ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls in one strike. Now the 0 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 2. Sent on the ground out to second. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Now back, center fielder. Merrifield. With Merrifield next to bat. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One oh home down the third baseline, but a foul ball one and one. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Before the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here's a look over to first. Back in standing. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out.
Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. He's running. Pitch outside the throw. It's high at the bag and that's not going to be in time so the go ahead run moves into scoring position now on the stolen base. Three and two a full count to the Royal center fielder. Now the payoff pitch home. Liner towards second. And that's the first down. So next to the plate for the Royals, Ryan O'Hearn. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. And the indication from the dugout comes, it looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. First pitch coming, here it is. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And they have taken the lead. The left fielder, number four, Alex Gordon. Into the box, Alex Gordon. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The tag, and he is out. Well, the plate now is the designated hitter, Hunter Dozier. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses ball one. Three runs already home here. A ball and a strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Jose Osuna. And they'll need him to get something going here. Okay. Osuna. Ian Kennedy comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Ian Kennedy. First pitch coming, here it is. And we kick off the ninth oh, inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Nope. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. And a full count now as Kennedy misses there. It's three and two now. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, 
This is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. In fitting for Pittsburgh, number 19, Colin Moran. Popped him up. O'Hearn has a play. One away. Standing in, O'Neill Cruz. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Yeah, one ball, one strike. Nope. No That's offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Merrifield is there. Two gone. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Kevin Newman. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at bat. The high fastball is in there. The 0 and 1 delivery. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. And he fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Gordon is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. 5-2, the final score tonight.